Hi guys, this customer has actually come through from YouTube so I wonder if they'll end up going back on the channel or subscribing. Um, basically today, just want to have a little chat. This is a Dunster House balcony, or it will be, or balcony fort. Um, the customer knew it wasn't, wasn't flat. This is actually up near Norwich, Norfolk. So it's only an hour away from me. Uh, so I thought I'd pop along and have a look. Um, basically we've, we've cracked on with the build. It might not look that far, that far out if I just stand back. The actual garden itself, it, it seems to be kind of half level. It's only when you start looking at it. Because the Dunster House, Selwood, Fat Moose, uh, Wiki, who else is out there? All, all these people make boxes, which means all of the legs, use my saw as a pointer, all of the legs are meant to form a box on a floor, which if you're building into a patio, should be absolutely fine. Because we've got a slope going on, um, to get the thing in, having to dig down which means obviously use one leg as the highest point everything else has to has to get cut into it this also means that the swings have to be off that way you can't have it any other direction because you can't make the switch like this level and then the swings as they come down the hill will have to be floating off the floor so just to have a look this doesn't look too far out but straight away that leg's touching this leg's a good couple of inches in this leg's even further in and then you have to trench around because it's got the cabin but then that doesn't seem too bad obviously with our custom sets we just dig down we sink the legs in concrete it all up everything's all good and happy with these flat packs because they're designed to be level everything you dig down you're going to have to dig down or cut each of these poles once you cut the poles so there you go there's a bubble check it's level then because the balcony fort has got these magical braces whereas none of the other Dunster houses do or Dunster sets when you put that in that's then at the wrong level so that's actually meant to be inside the fence so one little change i.e three or four inches of slope has meant that we're either having to cut all the um, fence panels or we're having to cut the supports and basically everything starts changing the swings are then going to be a different height because they're going up a hill so that needs to get cut and this is why we have these little issues so if you are looking at getting getting play sets rather than paying for time for cutting it all down and mucking around with it you could potentially just start looking at the fact of a custom build so the balcony for rrp dunster house is saying is around 16 1700 pounds i believe obviously for some reason they are selling these at nearly 50% off somehow which is incredible um it does kind of highlight the fact of is the rrp correct or is it not but i won't go into that so with this situation our, our towers that are actually bigger than this unit twice the thickness i mean that you will see other videos that's the floor it's about eight millimeters our floor is 32 millimeters these are 75 mil ours are over 100 mil um, and it just it just goes upwards really so we always try and do square towers and then we also can combine the swings onto the middle whereas the swings on this set come off the back which means when they're swinging backwards and the swings are going up to here that's the heaviest weight of your child because gravity's pulling it across because of the centrifugal force there's no support brace holding that so there's an a-frame on the other end holding the monkey bars so as they swing backwards it's holding it but what's holding that pole in position but anyway little talk that is the start of the situation starting of the cutting that we're going to have on this balcony it's going to add another few hours of, of build time and costs yes it will work out a little bit cheaper than obviously having a custom build non-stop but as I say, it's one of those things of get get one in properly if you've got the cash and the budget to begin with and then get going from there. Thanks very much.